Hi, everyone. Joey Porch here from Zenify, Director of Sales Solution Architecture. I've got on with us today, Mike Bogan from Hubble. We've uh, we've been partnering with Hubble and Hubble Diagnostics and now Process Analytics now for the last couple of years. So really excited to have him on board today to talk through some of the ways that we can use Hubble to help prepare for agent force and AI. Thanks, Joey, for having me. Uh, really excited about the partnership and all the success we've been bringing across the ecosystem. Mike Bogan here, Chief Strategy Officer at Hubble Technologies, and really excited to share with you, with everyone today, um, how we can leverage Hubble Diagnostics and Process Analytics in your agent force journey. When, when I think about this from a perspective of looking at an org for the first time and getting an understanding of you know, how AI ready are they, um, one of the first things you can see on the summary screen here is uh, this concept of the declarative automation. So you can see that the percentage of flow in this Salesforce org, so it's about 65%. Uh, the benchmark out there in the ecosystem is around you know, 30, 40%. But there's a bunch of workflow and process builder in this org. And so if we think about agent force readiness, the key with agents and, and um, agent force is that the, the agent actions that agents can actually execute on, they have to be in flows or triggers. You can't use the old legacy automation of workflows and process builders. So when I look at this org, it's like, hey, you've got 60, basically a 65% chance that the AI agent actions you want to leverage are going to be built in flows or triggers that you could, you could then leverage. So what does that mean? It means that if you are trying to dig into a specific process where an agent would be working, you might want to dig in and understand, you know, is that, let's take the example of the service agents that are out there, is that uh, automation that's built on the case object, is that sitting inside of, you know, triggers versus workflows, process builders, and flow? And so with uh, a health check that you can you can run with Hubble Diagnostics, you'd be able to quickly see uh, which, which automations would be available to you as agent actions for that, uh, for that scenario. With regards to agent force readiness, one of the things we found in our benchmark research is that about 20% of the metadata inside these Salesforce orgs uh, just doesn't have a description. And it's even worse for custom fields. It's about 50% for custom fields. And, and why is this important with regards to agent force readiness? Well, think about it this way. Those agents are, they're scouring your org, your data and your metadata. And if they're looking at, you know, something as straightforward as a, a field on an object, and it has no description as to what that field actually means, then that AI, you know, you, you might know what that custom field is, but your AI is not going to know what that is. Agent Force is not going to know what that is. So uncovering the, the um, pieces of metadata in your org that have no description is, is a really key part of your Agent Force readiness. And with Hell Diagnostics, you can come across, understand the specific pieces of metadata in your org that have no description um, and get a full. So for example, if we went straight into custom fields, you can identify those fields that have no descriptions and then um, identify this ones that are going to be engaged with your agents and make sure that those fields all have proper descriptions associated to them. Same goes for the automation that's on, you know, if we're talking about, again, case automation here, for example, these triggers um, and flows that an agent might use in those agent actions um, having descriptions on there is going to get you better results with regards to how that agent is able to choose and select those agent actions. So like we've been using Hubble to quickly identify risks, issues, security concerns, and technical debt. You know, how are you seeing organize, organizations using Hubble to prepare for age, AI and specifically agents as re, in regards to security? Yeah, that's a great question. So so obviously security is paramount. And so leveraging the custom code view inside of Hubble Diagnostics, you can actually get a lens into the security issues that have been covered by the Salesforce code analyzer. And that allows you to get a lens into particular security issues that might be associated to the, the code that an AI agent might actually leverage. So if we've, we've rolled this back into uh, the you know, work on, on the case object, for example, there might be security issues in a specific trigger that you might want to leverage 
with that AI agent. And you just want to make sure as you're going through that agent force deployment that the code that those agents are leveraging is actually secure as well. One other piece that's interesting from agent readiness and, and agent adoption is, is around field utilization and the data that the agent is actually accessing. So think about it this way. If you're, if you're, if you're working on an agent and that agent's working on the case object and you know that it's working on specific fields that, uh, that it might be having access to, if those fields don't have any data in them, and they haven't been populated because there's been no governance in your organization to actually populate that data, then your agent is not going to be able to provide useful results based on that. So leveraging field utilization uh, lets you dig into those fields. You know, Maybe you want to look at the fields that aren't namespaced, or maybe they're coming from a specific package. Um, maybe you're just looking at the fields that are, that are custom, but you can dig in and get an understanding of fields that, that either uh, don't have any data in them, or maybe there's specific processes you need to do with your team to, to better populate data that the agent might need to actually execute its its tasks. And this can go all the way through into the 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 package lens. So if you're if you're looking working on specific packages, you can get a field utilization lens on those specific packages as well. Does it actually identify? Potential use cases for agent force for an agent. That's a great question. So, uh, in terms of identifying the use cases, the best place to go there, the way to think about this, is that you know we've got a lot of automations on the case object here, but you can actually leverage uh, the first process mining app uh, built on the Salesforce platform, uh, Process Analytics, to give you a lens into what is actually happening on this uh, this case. What you're looking at is all of the cases in this org going from open to closed. And these green arrows are the fast paths and the red arrows are the slow paths. And so if you think about this and you can, you can view it in you know, frequency, you can see how many cases are going different ways or maybe you wanna dig into the different variants that are, that are out here. But most importantly, if we're, we're thinking about agent force and what agents can do to automate process in a business, you're, you basically want to identify these bottlenecks that can slow things down, that agents can be used to accelerate the, the process. And so you can dig into this individual bottleneck that we see here, drill down into that bottleneck, and we can see from an, maybe an individual user perspective or maybe it's a specific case type in this scenario. So it looks like in this scenario, we've got a gift cards that we're in a retail environment, we've got a gift cards promotions type scenario that's slowing everything down. And so, so Joy, this is basically like you can imagine going into an executive level workshop where you're trying to figure out where we should be putting our agents. This allows you to use a data-driven approach that's really going to accelerate that whole um, conversation so you can dig into those bottlenecks and make the best use of, of everyone's time. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. <clears throat> On the um, Once you actually have agents implemented, are there ways that we can actually measure the impact of that? That's a great question. So that's, that's obviously the uh, the golden question around ROI, right? We we want to identify a place where we can automate a process, help out with, with an organization, then we want to measure what that impact is. And so another great, great way to to do this is with process mining. So this is a view for a for a specific process. Let's imagine this is the view before we deploy those those agents. With process analytics, you can create any number of process uh, definitions and views, and then you can compare them. And so what's really cool is we, we dug into that process, we identified that there was a bottleneck there, and then what you can do is you can create views in a really simple way to think about comparisons is just before after. And so if I do a before after comparison, we identified this bottleneck, because we knew it was there when we were doing those workshops, we were able to dig in really deep, figure out what, what type of agent we could have in there, get a really great design outcome. Because think about those scenarios where you're talking, you know, you only have certain stakeholders available, not everybody has all the information. If you're doing it in a non-data-driven approach, you might build something that, that, you know, it solves most of the problem, but it's missing something. And then you end up with rework, and you end up with like you know more effort that, that than necessary. 
And so because you've done that data-driven approach, you speed everything up, make the best use of everyone's time, and now you can do the before-after comparison. So this is after the deployment. Now it's only taking four days for this process, and you've got um, a 10-day drop in the average case duration here. And this is just a view that's sort of stacking those two together. So this is a great way to measure that ROI that's happening um, between those uh, before after deployments of the agent. Yeah, that's a pretty compelling view. Thanks again, Mike, for your time. It was really great to see Hubble at work. Um, as I mentioned earlier, we've been partnering with Hubble for quite some time now to really look at using their tools to get data-driven analysis uh, into the hands of our community. So if anyone's interested in doing a free health check scan or even looking at process analysis, you can go to Zenify.com uh, or reach out to anybody from Zenify. Thanks again, Mike.